Hey guys, Jay Massey here and welcome back to the channel. I have had the privilege now of having many, many, many thousands of guests and reservations served and working with students in well over 16 countries. Here's the unique thing that happens regardless of where or when. You must know who it is you want to serve. In this snippet from one of our Q&A sessions, a new student was asking how to pick that special market, that place that was going to make sure that they got the revenue that they're looking for. Uh, it seems that getting into my first short-term rental is suggested to use Airbnb first, but whom I want to serve are medical stays. Is the suggestion more of a practice method or do I use direct bookings for my specific target? Okay, so let me address a couple of things, Richie, so that it's really, really clear for you and for everybody. In general, you should have at least three different target demographics. So let's start with that. So as you've heard me say many times, uh, families with small children, business travelers, and medical stays, all three, they all have so many overlaps. Okay, number one. Number two, Richie, I have no problem with you doing just medical stays. However, you need to understand that at the beginning, there's not a soul who knows that your short-term rental business exists. So you're leveraging uh, sites or the customer acquisition sites and marketplaces like Airbnb, Booking.com, Homeway, etc., in order to attract customers. Period. Okay, so you've got to stay in business first. Now, through that, you're going to take the customers you get. Okay, but you're going to customize your unit to serve the person best, which means the nurses and medical individuals who are on that platform. Because, let me see. Yeah. Um, that's how I get in contact with all of these high level clinicians, doctors, hospitals is through Airbnb. They go through Airbnb or HomeAway or Booking.com. And then in the process of their re them making their reservation, what ends up happening is you then develop the direct relationship. So, uh, so just understand that the marketplace is there to make sure you earn money uh, instead of having to spend the marketing cost. The marketing cost to get your short-term rental known is very, very expensive. I would encourage you strongly to not go that route until you are a number of years in with hopefully many, many thousands of names, phone numbers, and emails in your database of people who have stayed with you. Then you can make that happen all you want, all right? So that, and that's just gonna happen over time. Everybody starts with the marketplaces. now. The specific suggestion as it relates to Airbnb is because they have the absolute best reservation system, security system for everybody getting started, period, bar none, hands down. They have the best. Now, after you've gotten used to how the business works, how the business flows, again, do whatever you want. So that's how, our, that's, that's how the class is meant. It's meant to give you everything you're supposed to do, start there, and then as you want to take off the training wheels, knock yourself out. Let Latanya do some, some of your, your, your units. And then you're like, okay, cool. I think I can do this part. And I think I can do this part. Knock yourself out if that's how you want to do it. Okay. That's really what it comes down to uh, at the end of the day. Uh, but I don't want you learning your systems, especially around security and screening and customer acquisition and uh, revenue management and um, well, everything, guest communication all at once while stressing over, am I gonna get sales, right? You need to be able to take that concern off so you can focus on getting all of the systems together because once you have all of those systems together, the world is or the world is yours because then by then, you will have an understanding of what the other platforms offer and how to make that work. Try Gypsy Sold Travel Options there specifically for travel nurses seeking short term rentals. It's a Facebook group of nurses constantly posting their travel needs near whatever hospital or whatever area. Yes, absolutely. There are a number of Facebook groups, but again, um, there's nothing wrong with doing those. I just don't, I'm reasonably confident that you're not going to, you're, you're going to need other, you're just gonna need more uh, inquiries, reservations, etc., so that you're always making the best decision possible. 
If my aim is actually patient, I will look into it this way. It is any lead source can be valuable for what I'm looking for. So, uh, Richie, I know that you're out there in the world of Hawaii. So what, what's going through my head, guys, is if you're trying to get, and I just, I, because I was just on an airplane, this occurred to me. Uh, if you're looking to attract uh, the patients of high-level doctors and clinicians, you need a referral into their secretaries and appointment setters, office managers, whatever they're called. That's how you're going to get it done. And specifically, you need to know who those doctors and clinicians are. Well, if you've ever been on an airplane, that magazine that you don't pay attention to except to look for how to connect to the Wi-Fi and what movies and food they have that's in the front pocket. I mean, that's all you're looking for in that magazine, let's be honest, right? Uh, w well, also in that magazine are a number of high-level clinicians, doctors, etc., who are advertising in that nationwide magazine that's in airplanes where your captive audience, AKA, that ad isn't cheap. <laughs> So what I would encourage you to do is to contact those specialists because those specialists are the ones uh, that people are flying to go see. That's going to assist you in developing that. And specifically, as I've said before, you join a BNI chapter is going to also assist you with that uh, in order to be able to get referrals into the right person. Okay. If that's a question that you've asked and you'd like it answered as well as many more do us a favor give me that number one question that you still have not yet had answered type that in the comments hit the like button the subscribe button and the notification bell